Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on Alberta trees. Today, we're in the beautiful Hassey Lake nature area to talk about Alberta trees. And right now, I'm next to a massive poplar tree. And there are more poplar trees in the background. But how do I know that this is a poplar tree? Well, if you don't know anything about Alberta trees, it can help to look at the fine details, like needles and leaves. Let's take some samples back to the laboratory and see if we can identify some Alberta trees. If you don't have any experience identifying trees, looking at leaf samples can be very confusing. What should we focus on to help us identify an Alberta tree? A good place to start is with an Alberta tree identification key. Now the way we use a key is very simple. The key presents an either or question and all we have to do is choose. In this case we are choosing between leaf types, either broadleaf or needle type leaves. By doing so we narrow down the type of Alberta tree. If it's broadleaf it's a poplar or birch tree. If it's a needle type leaf, the tree must be larch, pine, fir, or a spruce tree. Now you may have seen some of these trees before. For example, poplar trees are found in many places in Alberta. They are tall, fast growing trees, and because they spread easily, they can quickly fill empty areas. Birch trees are also very common in Alberta, but they like moist areas like riverbanks better. Birch trees can grow up to 20 meters tall, but they don't get as tall as poplars, which can get as tall as 30 meters. The bark of a birch tree is very unique. It is papery and peels off easily. First Nations peoples have had many uses for this bark, including making canoes. Poplar and birch trees both have broad leaves, they do not have needles. So when we have unidentified samples from either of these trees, we can rule out any trees with needles. But what about telling the difference between poplar and birch? Can we use leaves for that? Let's take another close look at our samples. When we take a close look at poplar leaves, they of course look green and pretty much have a standard leaf shape. But if we look closely at the edge of the poplar leaf, we can see that it is very regular and smooth. Now let's take a close look at birch leaves. Again, the leaves look green and pretty much have a standard leaf shape. But looking very closely at the edge, we can see that birch leaves have a very irregular edge. And the edge also has sharp and jagged points. So now we have a way to tell poplar and birch trees apart on our key. By looking closely at the edge of the leaf, we can easily tell the two trees apart. We can use our key to identify even further. It turns out there are two species of poplar native to Alberta, the aspen poplar and the balsam poplar. The balsam poplar shown here is also common all over Alberta, especially in wetter areas. When we look closely at the leaves from these two trees, we can see there is a difference in the leaf shape, so we can use that in our identification key. If the leaf is broad and oval, it's the aspen poplar. If the leaves are longer and more pointed, we have the balsam poplar. Of course, Alberta has several different types of trees with needles. We can use a key to help identify them as well. For example, if we take a close look at a sample from a larch tree, the first thing we notice is the needles are very soft. Looking even closer, you'll notice that the needles are attached to the stem in bunches. Comparing this from a sample from a spruce tree, there's quite a difference. The needles from a spruce are hard and pointy to the touch, 
and if you look closely at how they are attached to the stem, they are very evenly spread out. We can apply this with our identification key. If we have a tree with soft needles that occurs in bunches, we know we have a larch tree. If the needles are hard and evenly spread out, the tree must be a pine, spruce, or fir tree. So you can see how a key can be used to identify any Alberta tree. All you need is a bit of patience and curiosity, sharp eyes, a good identification key, and a trip to one of Alberta's beautiful forests.